Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create your boutique Shopify website. The website I'll be showing you how to create is perfect for if you sell clothing. And you can also follow this video if you sell other types of products like cosmetics, hair products, and more. I'll be breaking down how to lay out a nice minimal layout with all the essential sections that you'll need. Then I'll show you how to lay out your navigation bar, how to manage your email list, and how to customize the display of your homepage. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. To get started here on Shopify, you're going to click online store. Then when you scroll down here, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes. For the base of your website, I'll be installing the refresh theme. Once that's installed, you're going to click customize. And this is going to be the base layout for the website. And when you click this mobile icon, it's going to show you how the mobile version appears. To get started, I'll be laying out the layout for the website. I'd recommend doing this first so that you can get a feel for which sections you would like your homepage to include. Then I'll be showing you how to customize those sections. I'm going to remove this email sign up and this featured collection. Then I'll remove this slide. I'm going to click add section and I'll be importing an image banner. Right below that, I'll be inserting a collection list. You want to insert a collection list to feature each of your product collections. Under number of columns on desktop, this is where you can increase or decrease the amount of collections you'd like to display at a time. For an example, I'll be displaying two collections and I'm just going to click on this third one and click remove block. And again, later I'll be showing you how to customize these sections and I'll be showing you how to create a product collection for your collection list. Right below that is where you can insert your about us or your brand description text. For a simple way to do this, you can insert a rich text section and I'll be showing you how to customize this later on to fit the rest of the website. When you scroll down and scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That's called a sticky header effect and when you click on the header, here under sticky header is where you can remove that effect if you would like. You can also select always if you'd like the header to remain at the top of the website when customers are scrolling. You're going to click theme settings, then colors. Then I'm going to open color scheme one and I'll be setting the background to white. Then I'll be setting the text, the solid button background and the outline button to white. I'm going to click on this header and I'm going to set this to color scheme one. I'm also going to set the announcement bar to color scheme one. And as you scroll down, you can choose to manually select each section and set it to whichever color scheme you would like. To add your logo to the website, you're going to click Theme Settings, then Logo. And here's where you can upload your logo and favicon image. Under Desktop Logo Width is where you can increase or decrease the size of the logo. Alright, and then this is going to be your base layout for the website. And again, I'll be showing you how to turn this basic layout website into this. As you can see, this is a nice symbol layout with all the essential sections to get your website started. Here's also an example of a more advanced style of this website that I designed. For a few ideas that you can do with your website, you can include a moving slideshow. You can also include some mid-roll banners to promote some of your product collections. By the way, if you are interested in this demo website, this is one of my Shopify theme templates and I have it available on my store. I've put together this pre-made Shopify theme template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. This Shopify theme template will save you a ton of time. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. These are editable website templates that you can add your photos and your products to. I also have many other types of Shopify website templates designed for many different businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Alright, and then back to the website, I'll be showing you how to customize each of these sections. To start, right here under announcement bar is where you can edit the announcement bar text. You can feature any shipping announcements. And if you are featuring a new product or collection, under link is where you can link this text to that new collection. For now, I'll be removing this announcement bar. When customers click catalog, this is going to take them to the shop all page of your website. And when they click contact, this is going to take them to your contact form. I'm going to click on this image banner. And this is where you can upload your background picture for this section. Then under image overlay opacity is where you can make this image more transparent or more opaque depending on how much you want to feature the text. Under banner heights, I'll be setting this to large. That way the main picture will display large. And here's how that display is on mobile. Under desktop content position, I'm going to be setting this to bottom center. And you can set this to whichever position you would like to reposition this text box. Under desktop content alignment, you can choose to realign the text. Next, when you click on this heading text, this is where you can retitle this main heading text. And under heading size, you can minimize or maximize the size of this text. Then you can change the text of this mini description. Then when you click on the button label, this is where you can retitle the title of the button label and you can insert a link leading to either a page or a product collection within your website. You can also select to display the outline button style. And this will be the display of the main banner on your website. Next, I'll be showing you how to customize the collection list. To start, here's how the mobile layout of this section is going to appear. Each collection is going to appear one by one. If you want to simplify this layout, you can enable the swipe on mobile. 
This way, customers will just be able to swipe through your featured collections. Under heading is where you can retitle the heading for this section. And under heading size, you can minimize or maximize the size of the heading text. To create a product collection on your store, here on Shopify, you're gonna click products, then collections. This is where you can create a new product collection. You can title this collection and insert a description. And under collection type, you can set this to manual so you can manually add products to the collection. And you can also set it to automated. For an example, if you set it to automated and if you set the condition to product title contains the word dress, then this means that every new product you add to your store, as long as the word dress is in the title, it will automatically add to this collection. For now, I'll be selecting manual. Then when you click products and click add product, this is where you can add a new product to your store. And right here under collections is where you can add this product to that new collection. Here is where you can write the description. You can upload any pictures and videos that you have. You can add the product pricing and insert some additional product details. I do have an in-depth product page tutorial on my channel that you can watch. I'll link that in my description box below. And then when you open that Shopify theme and when you click on one of these collection boxes, this is where you can choose which collections you'd like to feature. Once you're finished, that's how you can do the collection list section. Right below that, I'll be showing you how to edit the rich text and turn it into your about us section. Under heading is where you can retitle the heading, then you can choose to increase or decrease the heading size. You can manually type in your brand description text, and you can also use AI writing tools like ChatGPT to help you write out your brand description. For a few additional text options, you can select some of the text and you can choose to apply a different heading style. You can also click this little link icon and insert a link to a URL or to a page within your website. I'm going to click on this rich text section and here under desktop content position, you can reposition this text on your website and you can also reposition the content alignment if you would like. Then when you click on this button label, you can choose to retitle this button label and insert a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. I'll be removing the button label. Once you're finished, here's going to be the website layout. And I'm going to click on this footer menu and here's where you can choose to display your email signup. This way customers will be able to join your email list. And there are also some additional editing options here. You can show your policy links, your payment icons, and more. To send out emails to your email list members, here on Shopify, you can just click marketing, then click create campaign. When you click Shopify email, this is where you can set up your template branding. And this is where you can choose between Shopify's existing email newsletter templates. They have some designed for shop announcements and they have some for holidays and occasions. And last, I'm gonna show you how you can customize your footer menu and the main menu of your website. Here on Shopify, you're just gonna click online store, then navigation. Here, I'm just gonna open the main menu and this is where you can edit or remove the current menu items. And when you click add menu item, you can add links to some new pages in your website. For an example, you can add a link to a specific product collection. And when you click this button right here, this is where you can reposition it and move it higher on your navigation bar or lower. For this video, I'll just be keeping the default main menu layout. Then when you open your footer menu, this is where you can add some new items to your footer menu. I'll be adding a link to the home page. Then you can add links to some of your product collections. Then you can add more links like to your blog or your policy pages. And then I'll be ending it with a link to the contact page. When you open your website theme here on Shopify, when you click on the footer menu, I'm gonna be clicking add block. Then I'm gonna insert a menu block. You're gonna to wanna to make sure this menu is linked to your footer menu. Then right below that, I'll be inserting an image block. This is where you can put your logo. Then if you would like to add one more section, you can insert a text block. And this is where you can put a little mini brand description. And once you're done, this will be your minimal, simple base website for your products. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format and here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And I have many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.